You gonna help me? Yeah? Okay. So what you need, of course, is items that you're going to bleach dye. You'll need some rubber bands, some gloves. I'm going to use these because they're on their last leg. <laughs> and then I use trash bags, but you can use any type of like covering. I just ripped the trash bags up and put the cover down to not bleach the furniture or anything. Of course, you're going to need bleach. And I typically have a larger, like reusable bottle but I can't find it so I'm using this one for my little bit of diluted bleach because it is recommended to dilute 50% water 50% bleach basically for safety purposes and because uh, the bleach is gonna be really strong but I prefer it to be stronger because it works faster and it's hot out here I don't want to be out here all day but then I have this bottle for just 100% bleach because I may want to spot treat certain areas depending on how the bleach is taking or the design I'm trying to go for and then this is a little container and uh, we'll go from there so this item does have a little bit of discoloration on the bottom and that is why I am dying this one so typically I do wet the items beforehand so that the bleach does take in a little bit better and it doesn't run as much, but I wanted to test both methods. So this one I'm just going to do dry. Now also the twisting method does work better when the item is wet or damp. Uh, it does get a little bit tighter, so if you're looking for a more tight, precise type of design, then I would definitely recommend dampening or wetting your item. So this one I just want to do a nice classic tie-dye where it's kind of from right underneath the center of the logo and then going out that way. And I'm going to say tie-dye every now and then, but I do mean bleach dye. Uh, this one is going to have kind of like that tie-dye effect though, but just with a bleach dye. So I did decide to do two levels of bleach, meaning I went ahead and put some bleach down, waited just a minute or two, and then poured more bleach so it would kind of give it like three different tones. And that really is one of the funnest parts about doing these DIY projects, that there's really no right or wrong, it's just kind of what you envision and hope that it works, and if it doesn't, maybe do something else based off of your mess up. And I pretty quickly unraveled this one after because I wanted to see the colors changing because again this is supposed to be very fast and I didn't want it to get too washed out. So you'll see how it looks now and then I, spoiler alert, left it a little bit too long so it did lighten up quite a bit but this is a little bit closer of what I was going for and should have washed it out right away. So this Harley Davidson shirt, I realized that I hadn't showed you guys what it looked like before, so I unraveled it. So you can see, because I had bleach on my gloves, it does leave that a little bit. But this one had a lot of almost look like bleach discoloration at the top around the neckline and shoulders. So I didn't think that it would sell well the way it was, and this is one item that I do want to try and sell. So I'm going to bleach this, but because of the graphic, the in-depth graphic on the back, I want to try to not get too much bleach around there. So I'm focusing more on the edges and around kind of the, the border of the shirt. All right, again, this is about after only one minute. I'm unraveling it just to watch the process. And pretty much after this is when I went to go wash both of them off and you can pretty much tell right here that it lightened up quite a bit so it kind of washed out some of that effect but I think it still comes out okay you will see shortly now I am letting them both hang dry before I actually wash them in the washing machine because that was just to rinse all the bleach out so that they stop changing so you get to see what they look like right here. Now these next two items are damp so I basically just submerged them in water and then drained them out. So this one I did want to have a double twirl effect so I just twisted them from opposite corners, uh, top and bottom, 
and then you can see here that I'm tying them together so again this is a lot easier to twist them when it's damp and I'm able to make the product a lot tighter now first I'm going to use this spray bottle to lightly mist the outer edges all around so that it's not as harsh of a dye and it kind of gives it a little bit of depth and here I just thought I would let you guys see it changing of course the clip is sped up a little bit but I just thought it was pretty cool to see it changing in literally seconds still and now I am adding more bleach basically just to the center of the twirls and this is the 100% bleach because I want it to be a little bit lighter right in there and here I'm just letting you see that because it's so tight that there's still not a lot of bleach getting in the center and that's what I mean by being a little bit more precise and concentrated when the item is damp pre-bleach. Now this last one I am doing a dip bleach so I basically put 50% water, 50% bleach in this container and I am just dipping in the bottom to where I would like the bleach to go up to and I'm doing that for the bottom hem of the shirt as well as for the sleeves you can see how very quickly the bleach does take effect even when it's 50 50 but because I was messing with so much I wanted to be a little bit more on the safe side and then I didn't know how long it would take me before I could rinse it off Now I hung it up and it actually kind of stopped changing. I didn't like the harsh lines on it so I went ahead and took the spray bottle and sprayed a little bit around the top. You can see right here the neckline. I did get a little bit of bleach on there with the gloves so I decided to just take that and add some of the bleach dye to it and then just spraying a little bit kind of casually just so that it would soften it up a little bit. All right, and here are the final products. So let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I might be biased, but the Harry Potter one is definitely my favorite. Absolutely love the way that that one came out. And again, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!